Welcome, welcome to the Crafty Crochet Review Show. How is everyone doing? I am so excited to be here because we get to talk about dishy yarn. So what are you working on right now? And tell me, have you ever worked with dishy yarn before? Dishy yarn is from Recrochet slash Knit Picks. So tell me, tell me, tell me. Also, don't forget to do this because, hey, chatting alone is a little boring, right? And then don't forget to do this because, do, 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 yeah, I have a little knot in my tongue here. <laughs> don't forget to do this because it allows other crocheters to talk about this as well and it makes it a lot more fun. And yes, you can do this once here on YouTube. So who is here? Donna is here, Diane is here. Awesome, we have many people here. I'm really excited. So I actually just figured something out and I'm really thrilled because my little device is still not there in order to switch cameras, but I figured out how I can connect my phone such that you can still see the multi-camera part. Yay! So I get to show you that in a second where I'm gonna split screens and I'm gonna cross my fingers. You can still hear me at that point. So yay, that's awesome. Three different projects and yes, this yarn is really nice. It is. So not getting anything done, Donna? I hear ya. <laughs> this is, it's Friday, right? You know, that's kind of how it works. <laughs> so we you know when it's Friday, we think about the weekends and we're kind of somewhere else, right? We think about relaxing, but hey, we have one more day to go, right? And this is today and let's talk about all the amazing things, okay? Because dishy yarn is a pretty incredible yarn. So by the way, if you haven't subscribed, I believe down here should be a subscribe button and uh, make sure you subscribe. Actually, it's on this side. Now that my camera is the right way, I believe it's on this side. Don't, don't ask me. I don't remember. Somewhere down here. <laughs> Anyways, I also added all the links that you need, what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about, of course, the dishy yarn, right? And then I'm also going to talk about um, how it works up. I have a swatch right here that I'm about to show you. And then furthermore, I'm going to show you patterns that I have used to use dishy yarn or I use dishy yarn in order to make those patterns. So I even will share my screen with you so I can show you the patterns because believe it or not, yes, I do not have some of the originals left over, but hey, I can show you the pattern on my screen. So which is really awesome. I actually want to check this morning about the dishy yarn. I realized, wow, I use dishy yarn quite often. I'm actually surprised uh, how many patterns I've created using dishy yarn. I love dishy yarn. Seriously, it's probably the best cotton yarn out there. I've never worked with incredible cotton yarn like this. So let's see. I'm working on a page to a sensitive book. Ooh, okay. Uh, I want to know how to crochet an adult scarf. Ooh, I have plenty of adult scarves. So Tamara, uh, I think I pronounced your name right. Uh, Tamara? Tamara? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you can go to my website. Go to Nikki'sHomemadeCrafts.com. There is a link down below. And you type in, uh, you go in, there's a search bar uh, and type in scarf and you find plenty of scarf. All my scarves are adult scarves that can be shrunken down into to children's scarves or made longer if you wish to do so. And of course, I also have them under crochet and then free crochet patterns. They're all right there as well. So there's many different options on how to find free crochet patterns for scarves, adult scarves. So yay. Um, I see four of those. I believe there's more than four of these here. Are there more people here? Let me see. I'm going to do this one more time. You can do this one once here on YouTube. So please take advantage of that if you do like what I talk about. And don't forget to do this because, hey, it's fun to have more people here, right? And then chatting alone is boring. So I appreciate you already starting to do that. And let's see, let's get started. I'm now going to add a screen to it. So hang on, it's going to split the screen in half so that you can see uh, my yarn as well as a little swatch. So I'm gonna see how I'm gonna hold my yarn so you can actually see it. Okay, so let me do that right now. So there we go, look at that, how cool is this, right? So I have to sit like this now so you can actually see me. So this yarn so this is how the dish yarn looks like this is the color red am i right this was about it, what it's called it's called fiesta red let me hold it this way so you can actually read it fiesta red and it has 100 cotton it's 190 yards 
100 grams worsted weighted yarn and it says 4.5 stitches in one inch if you use a seven to eight needle unfortunately there is no uh, written instructions for the crochet here however i'm pretty sure they're going to add it soon considering here it still says knit picks and knit picks now has a sister site called we crochet and there is a link down below if you're interested in getting that okay so it is a number four weight and then there's additional instructions right here for that as well. It's a pretty cool yarn. It's a lot of yarn, seriously a lot of yarn. It is extremely soft. If you have never touched this before, guys, I know a lot of people do not like uh, cotton yarn, but this yarn is extremely soft. It has a little bit of a fuzz to it, which you know if that fuzz is there, it makes it soft. It is really soft, you guys. I still use this for washcloths and all kinds of different uh, patterns. I really love using this yarn. So let me show you how this actually works up and then I'll show you a few different colors as well. So here we have a swatch that I did this morning using a different color and unfortunately, my yarn right here does not have a tag anymore so i don't remember what the yarn is called or the color is called I'm, i apologize the yarn is dishy yarn but i don't remember the color so here you can see how it works up using i have here a, a g hook let me see if i can show you yes it's a g hook this is a frost crochet hook in case you're interested there's also a link down below for that so i use this in order to make uh, single crochets this is three rows right here and it works up very nicely. In fact, I can even show you how it uh, works up. Where did my loop go? Oops, I have it upside down. So here we can see it. I'm gonna crochet here for you. So you can exactly see how smooth it is. So there we go, it literally, and I'm doing this behind a camera, you guys. So if I slip my yarn, that's not because of the yarn, it's because of the angle how I'm holding it, okay? So it works up extremely nice and it's very nice and smooth really it is so let me ask you this whoever has here used dishy yarn before who has used dishy yarn donna is saying the hazel scarf is a great one it sure is i love the hazel scarf in fact i have a um, blanket using the hazel scarf as well isn't this pretty i love it look i can go a little closer so you can actually see it it's gorgeous i love it you guys can still hear me right i want to make sure that my volume my uh, volume didn't mute anywhere uh, it's beautiful okay so let me now um, talk about additional colors let me put this aside and show you some additional colors right here okay so we have here the white yarn which I believe is something with swan yes there we go it's it's a swan color this one is probably one of my favorite white colors that they have for um, anything Christmas related pretty much so this is a really really pretty yarn color for anything white now look at this together look the red and the white together wow how beautiful is this this is so Christmas right here and this is why I actually asked them to send it to me and yes I got this yarn for free this is full disclosure um, I am an ambassador for knit pick slash we crochet so I get paid to talk about this um, although they do not tell me what to talk about I cho choose what to talk about and it's all my opinion so uh, and below there is an affiliate link so full disclosure on that as well I get a small commission if you do uh, decide to purchase this um, so this color these two colors are so Christmas I mean I don't know what else to say and then here check this out I have even a green color wow look at this even that together i mean i don't want to say the word screams christmas but i really do believe this is a beautiful combination for christmas and then here i even asked them to send me some black which in my opinion is the perfect santa combination i mean come on you can't go wrong with that right i mean isn't this beautiful and then here i even have they have more colors you guys uh, i'll show it to you in a second but this even this color is beautiful this reminds me if i use these four together that reminds me of the santa belt don't you guys think i really do believe that it looks like the santa belt and um yeah so let me see here i want to show you uh the yarn on their website so i want to make sure that you guys can see that as well so let me now show you 
I'm going to pull it up over here so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about regarding how many colors they have. They have so many colors and it's extremely affordable. So let me now turn this one off and switch screens because I want to show you the colors as well as the patterns that you can make using this yarn. Christmas stockings, yes. Is there a pattern in the future using dishy yarn in red, white, and green? Likely, likely. I have not started, but I should. And I'm very much thinking it should be some kind of washcloth situation. Um, just coming on from Alabama. Hi, Christy. I'm glad you're here. And Carolina is all the way from Sweden. And I know um, she can't get this yarn, but I appreciate you being here and still t listening to this amazing yarn. If you ever travel to the UK or the US, come grab that yarn for yourself. Okay, let me now share my screen. So here we go. We have here Dishy Yarn. So this is, and look, wow, I didn't even know this before, but wow, look at this, 20% off Dishy Yarn. Um, yeah, I think this was the perfect time for me to talk about Dishy Yarn. I really didn't know this until I just switched screens. So there you go. Uh, you can even save on Dishy Yarn, so perfect for you. So you can see here that they have all, a lot of different options once you type in Dishy. So I literally searched Dishy and um, my favorite, so here's the Dishy Yarn itself. So check this out. So it has, look at this, two, $2.99 for 100 grams. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. And now that they have that 20% sale going on here, if you click here, you know, the link is down below. What you're seeing right here on the screen, there's a link down below, it says uh, Dishy Yarn and you can grab it for yourself, right? Um, so you can see how many colors they have. Wow. So here, this is the color that I have, the swan color, the black. Let me see. Oh, the azure is the one that I showed you the um, swatch with. And then we have the jalapeno, it's the green one. And then the fiesta red is the red one. I mean, I even had pomegranate before. I believe the creme brulee over here is the golden one that you saw earlier. So these colors are really, really amazing. And by the way, don't get fooled that this one doesn't have reviews. It's because We Crochet is a brand new site. If I now go to Knit Picks, let me show you Knit Picks, and then show you the Dishy Yarn. I'm gonna click here now since mine as well, right? Here's the Dishy Yarn. So if I click here right now, you can see how many reviews it has and how incredible it is. So Knit Picks has been on the market for a long, long time. But uh, We Crochet is made for crocheters uh, only. And yes, therefore it doesn't have any reviews right now because it's a brand new site. Uh, but yes, you can see on this one how incredible um, the reviews are. So make sure, and you can see here, if you don't click up here, the Dishy Yarn, it's gonna be $2.99. So you need to click right here in order to get the sale, right? So there's plenty of sales going on right here. So. Now that we talked about this, uh, you can also see additional information over here uh, for the crochet. Look, there's the crochet part that I was talking about earlier. You can have 11 to 14 single crochets in a four inch uh, swatch using I2K. I used a, a G hook uh, because I felt like it was a little bit denser and it looks a lot prettier, uh, but it's you know your choice on how uh, you, which yarn, uh, which you, hook you're gonna use with this. And then over here, if you go to nikitomecrafts.com and then type in Dishy, which there is a link down below for exactly the screen that you're seeing right here, this is all the results for Dishy. So these are all the patterns I've ever made using Dishy yarn. And yes, this is one of my popular ones. This is the Octopus Amigurumi. Um, I did write down it's for, you know, this pattern is designed for preemies, but I do not guarantee that a hospital will accept this um, uh, if you make this Amigurumi and I do not take any responsibility regarding uh, once you gift this item to uh, a baby or whatever. So, but the pattern is available for you for the amigurumi. Uh, this is probably one of my few amigurumis I've ever made. It's really awesome. It's really fun to make. Um, the he head is super easy. The face is super easy. And even this is extremely easy, okay? So you literally then just click on the name and then you get to the free pattern. These are all free crochet patterns. Here's the honeycomb washcloth. Um, really, really fun to make. And then here's the linked crochet washcloth. You can see how I use different green colors. This is again the jalapeno color right here. This makes a really beautiful uh, gift 
for someone for Christmas or as a present, like a little um, gift basket or something, you can easily put this in. And I love that the linked crochet makes it a little bit wavy and gives a little bit more of a texture. And then we have down here the snowflake Christmas bell, which in fact you can see right here on the image that it has two sides. Yes, it has two sides and it's using uh, the waistcoat stitch and it's super, super pretty and adorable. Uh, if you put some plastic that's inside, right, it really stays the shape it is, it's gorgeous. And then we have here, of course, my famous book cover that a lot of people know of because I used the thermal stitch for this one as well. So, um, if you ever looked at the thermal stitch, um, this is what I used and it makes a great book cover because of the texture of the yarn as well as the uh, stitch. It makes it nice and thick and really, really sturdy. Um, so and then we have here the facial scrub and uh, cotton pads. Yes, also used to she yarn for all of that. And then over here I have uh, one more pattern, which is the Turkish star stitch, I believe. Oh no, I have another one. The Turkish Star Stitch bracelet I used also dishy yarn. You can even use that as a, um, a muck cozy. It's the same size as a muck cozy. And then we have here the DNA one. Do I have more? Oh, I have more. Wow, I have a lot of patterns. Uh, there you go. Here's a DNA, DNA helix you can make for yourself in case you want to do some presents for some science classes. This would be a fun one because they get to see how the uh, a double helix is made and how it really looks like so this is a great example for that and then over here uh, we have the Christmas pattern which is a bauble uh, with hearts in it in fact I actually was awarded um, it was awarded number one best ornament of 2016 on Fave Crafts that was right around the time I started my blog and I got my fir first award so that was really really cool so yes this is a very popular one um, also you make two halves and then you sew them together uh, actually you crochet them together and then inside you can see there is a plastic uh, ornament inside so if you ever want to take a look at those ones. So let me now switch uh, cameras again so you can see me again. And I've noticed that this part has stopped. I'm talking to myself. Don't make it boring. Come on, talk to me. Leave me something so I know that what I'm talking about actually interests you and you haven't fallen asleep. I hope you have not. Come on. We have here the crochet uh, review show and the reviews not just from me, but I also want to know your reviews. Have you used dishy yarn before? And for what have you used dishy yarn for? I would love to know. Leave something below so I know exactly um, that you have tried this before. I gotta check here for something that I didn't click on somewhere else. Woo! All right. Um, do you guys want to see another close up? I'm happy to switch cameras again or split the screen and show you the yarn again. Do you guys want to see the yarn again? I've been talking for about 20 minutes. I want to make sure we guys are all still on track. It's all good. I was all into your pants and listening. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope that I'm interesting enough that you're like, just like in there. And there are the patterns and really, really in there. I was like, which one am I going to pick? Which one? And which one's coming next? I love that. I love that. Thank you, Christy. Uh, don't forget, of course, to share you know let other people know if what i'm sharing here is actually interesting this video will be available after too this doesn't go anywhere it's a streaming so you have actually you can interact with me but you can let other people know say hey if you've never tried dishy yarn before you should check this out they're even free crochet patterns yes they are so don't forget to do that the dna would be great for your grandson yes yes it would be and i have a biology degree so this is why i made those uh so yeah they're really fun to make um it's a little bit difficult in a way of you have to switch your thinking because the double helix is made in a certain way that kind of goes against of how you crochet it's easy for lefties hint <laughs> it's very easy for lefties but for righties you're gonna have to crochet the other way around little heads up on that one so many colors yep that's awesome no I haven't uh, love the Christmas bell we'll have to check that one out I'm glad you're trying that one it's a really really fun one so do you guys want to see the yarn one more time and that way you can see it as a little close-up I have to put it right here I have my camera right here it's so cool I love this system how I have it right now I, I literally just found out about it this morning 
Uh, so I'm gonna add this in there one more time so you can see. This is the one that we're talking about in case you're jumping on a little late. Uh, this is the dishy yarn that we're talking about. It's made by We Crochet and Knit Fix. Let me uh, show you my little tag here which you can see obviously it says knit picks and we crochet and by the way this is an adorable little uh, enamel pin seriously and it's really really sturdy and it's really easy to uh, put it on something and it's gorgeous seriously gorgeous but yeah so you can see that knit picks and we crochet they work together and crochet we crochet is under crochet.com so there you go um, I like the bobble Christmas balls pattern. Yay! I would love to see you try that one out at some point. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And in fact, if you didn't know that and you've seen this the first time, there is a 100% full crochet pattern tutorial, video tutorial on that pattern as well. A little heads up, it's an older video, which means my uh, video quality was not as good as it is now. <laughs> so a little heads up on that. It's about two, three, almost three years old. Uh, so just be aware of that. You know, the quality might not be as great. The pattern is still 100% functional and working perfectly, but a little heads up on that. I like the sale that you're having. My sale? You, are you talking about the dishy sale? Yes, there's a dishy sale going on. But heads up, thank you for reminding me, Donna. I have a Black Friday slash or Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale coming up for all my eBooks for TCC as well as um, my courses. There you go. There was one missing. <laughs> I had to think for a second. Yes, there's one missing. However, I have a link down below if you want to join early. Yes, TCC is incredible because I get to do this in a lot more detail. Yes, you get 100% support. You get a game. Yes, we're playing games within TCC. And of course, you get all my patterns as a PDF and tutorials. It, everything is there. It's like the place to be. And that's why it's called TCC or better in full written out form it's the crochet club yes so something easy for lefties yes that's right i love the yarn pin how do i get the pin uh the pin again if you link down there there's a link in the description it says dishy yarn if you click there you get uh right into uh we crochet you know what why don't i show you since i have it right here so let me go there and i'll show you right there so hang on i switch screens again here, so here we are at We Crochet. So this is where it takes you when you click that link below. And I'm gonna show you right now how to get there. So you can see here, there's lots of sales going on right now, literally sales and clearance, sales, okay? And then they have an area where it says new. So there we go, it says new. So if I click here, I mean, look at all this stuff. You have all this incredible stuff. So here we are, there are the um, enamel pins right here. There's These are five of them for almost 15 bucks, but there are five of them, okay? You can also get just one of them. I don't know exactly, here's one of them. So there we go, this is, is the multicolored one, this is the one I showed you, which is $7.99, and then here you can uh, get f five of them in five different colors, and this is a lot cheaper, so in case you're interested for that one, but look at the, all this stuff, I haven't even seen any of this stuff, look at this, this is amazing. Ooh, I like this, some of this stuff is really cool, really cool. Let's look at this together, shall we? <laughs> this is cool, look at this. This is a yarn gauge. Ooh, I like this. And then here are some stitch markers. I love these water bottles. Now that we um, we waste so much money on plastic water bottles, these metal ones are incredible, cool. So let's see, how many sites? Oh, they have more stuff. Oh no, this is just one site. And then here are the sales, in case you're interested for the sales currently going on. Dishy yarn, perfect timing for me. Literally, this was not planned. I promise you, I didn't know that they have a sale going on. I planned on doing dishy yarn, but I didn't realize they had a sale. So perfect timing, right? And then they have here, buy 10 skeins and save. You can get blankets right here. And then there's a goodbye sale. So let's look at that one. So there's a lot of things that are going on clearance and I literally go away. I have this mug, it's awesome. I use it every morning. I love this mug. So, and there's a lot of different yarns here. There's clearance on yarns and there's books right here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on We Crochet that you can grab. As I said, there's a link down below and you can grab it right from there. So has this been cool? 
Did you guys like this? I love that I was able to sh uh, screen. Uh, my, my screen was able to be cut and I can show you my yarn directly. And um, of course, screen share. It was cool. Come a long way in the three years. Yes, for sure. Just got me some more fa uh, Fable Fur year, uh, yarn. Fable Fur yarn. You guys, I totally said that wrong. Fable Fur. Someone told me it's like table with an F. Fable fur. I've been saying it wrong the entire time. I apologize, but I'm foreign. Hey, right? We can all make mistakes. Uh, came yesterday and can't wait to make more stuff. I love that yarn. I love that yarn. My review last time was about this yarn, so check it out if you haven't seen it. I didn't have a cool screen share, but it was still really, really cool. Um, yes. So, have you guys, do you like this? I like cats. I know, me too. <laughs> There's a lot of cat stuff. I have three cats. I love this stuff. So, let's think about what you guys want to talk about next week. If you guys uh, can't come up with an idea of what you want me to review next week, I'll come up with something and talk about it because there's so much to talk about. Even with We Crochet, we ha I have a yarn winder I can show you guys. I might not be able to show it here <laughs> uh, because it might be too small. The screen might be too small and that thing is huge, but it's amazing. So we'll see. We'll figure it out. I can talk about maybe the uh, different uh, tools that they have sent me so you can kind of take a look at that. But I hope you loved this Crafty Crochet Review Show. This was number two. And uh, next week we'll have number three. You guys know that I go live four times a week. I'm actually even thinking about doing a fifth one. Hmm, maybe. But for right now, I'm going on Tuesdays for TCC, the Crochet Club. This is my membership. On Wednesdays at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on my Facebook page, I go live and talk about all the current whips and new free crochet, crochet patterns and tutorials published on my website or things that are coming up, meaning kind of like this is the place to go if you want to know what's coming up and be ready to go for whatever comes. And then we have the third one, which is on Thursdays in my group called Crocheting with Nikki. It is a Facebook group and we have over 12,000 members in there and I talk about motivation, how to get your motivation back for certain examples if you're in a certain situation whatever and we talk about a business crochet that means if you want to sell your items or you want to be a become a pattern designer whatever I help you out with a few little tips and tricks and then of course the fourth one is this one right here the crafty crochet show someone is giving me a I don't know why uh, hopefully this person just click the wrong button by accident. Yes, please show how to use a, a winder and a swift. Okay, we'll figure that one out because as I said, it's huge, but yeah, we'll make it work. You loved it, I like surprises. Ooh, I like surprises too. Okay, so we definitely make that one work, um, yes. Okay, you guys, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. We're 16 people still here, so show some of those. Not everyone has done that yet. And if you haven't subscribed, there should be a, a button below there uh, to subscribe. Let your friends know about it. And of course, all the links, everything I've talked about, there's links down below in the description. Leave a comment below as well and let me know about how you like this show and give me a review. I would really appreciate it if you can leave something below and tell me in the comment section right down there. Not just the one on the side that happens when you live, but down there in the comment section. Comment section, tell me what you think and if you like this kind of review show. What is this yarn made out of? 100% cotton. Let me show you one more time before I come off. So uh, you may have missed it in the beginning. That's totally fine. You can see right here, it's 100% cotton and it's really soft cotton, really soft and easy to work with. I thumbed up. I love it. Thank you. And um, yes, so we'll talk about something totally different next week. I'm really, really excited. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. And I love you guys. Happy weekend and happy hooking. Bye.